What's up, you bunch of Googans? I'm sorry I've been absent the past week. I know I'm beating a dead horse with this and you've heard this every video, but the weather in Atlanta has been monumentally bad. We've gone from like two inches of rain in a day to two feet of snow from 70 to like 20 degrees. I mean, it's been horrible. The lake that I fished today was up like 15 feet. The parking lot was underwater at the boat ramp. I mean, it's been horrible. I'm just praying for a break in the rain. Anyways, doing something a little bit different. I, uh, making an intro and an outro in the same video. I realized when I got home and started editing the video on my computer that I actually forgot to make an intro. So here you guys go. Um, today we went jugging. Something totally different, something I've never, ever, ever done before. Typically, uh, jugging is made for catfishing, but we added our own twist today. We jug with live blueback herring, which is like, you can catch anything, a striper, a gar, a catfish, a spotted bass, a largemouth bass, a crappie. I don't know if I said crappie already, but you get the point. You just never knew. You don't know what you're gonna catch when you do that. And it made things super interesting. And like I said, never jugged before. Totally different way to catch fish. I uh, hope you guys like it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please, please subscribe. I'm like this close to 200 followers, or subscribers, I should say. Um, not that that's that much, but it's, it's still like, I'm happy with it, let's put it that way. Uh, I got a long road ahead of me, but I need y'all support if I'm gonna continue to make these videos. So please tell your mom, your dad, your uncle, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kid, your brother's uncle's mother-in-law, I don't care. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. I promise I'm going to be making videos more often. And yeah, looking forward to seeing y'all next week. to it than not a whole lot of people do. We're gonna go jugging with live herring. So you can see I got about three dozen. We're gonna put about 20 pound fluorocarbon, maybe 25, onto a jug. I'm just gonna let it go in the backs of creeks. So if we could catch stripers, spotted bass, catfish, largemouth, even a crappie. I mean, who knows? It, it should be pretty interesting. Or we could catch nothing, who knows? But I'm hoping we're gonna catch a, at least a couple fish. Should be pretty interesting. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, first, got I bought about, I don't know, seven two liters, and then I just found some random jugs in the in the garage in my house. It's like Windex, you name it. This is really easy, guys. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna make about 10 of them today, and we're gonna release them in various parts of the lake. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm making these jugs. So this is a squirt. I guess it's like a knockoff Sprite. It's a two liter bottle. You can buy this at a gas station. Empty the bottle out or drink it. Probably better to drink it so you don't waste things. I'm using 20 pound Berkeley Mono because I'm not really trying to break the bank on a fluorocarbon for this experiment. I'm gonna tie a uni knot around the top. Perfect, you don't really have to worry about the tag end because just trust me, you don't really have to worry. I'm not, I'm not even gonna cut this tag end off. Then I'm gonna put about 12 feet of mono. And a circle hook. Another uni knot. We're ready to go, guys. You have a, a little hook, 20 pound mono, about 12 feet of line attached to this two liter. First jug about to be deployed. All right, there's one, guys. All right, second jug out. All right, guys, second jug out. Woo, I'm so excited. All right, guys, because line 
so and the tail. All right, guys. This is fun, dude. I'm gonna do this more often. Fish on. All right, guys. Fish on. Fish on, boys. Am I recording? This is so cool. And we got a catfish. All right, I think we're gonna do a, a catch and cook. Actually, this guy looks really nasty. What the heck is going on? That was just cool to catch a fish on the jug, guys. We've been working our butts off literally all day for this one little, Oh, he's got, he's got, look at, he's got like zits all over him, guys. Oh, I'm just so happy we finally caught something, dude. Guys, I would do a catch and cook, but this thing's got like zits all over him. That's pretty gross. And I don't know what's really going on with this hoo-ha over here, but that's not, that ain't pretty. We ain't, we ain't eating you. You're too ugly. Anyways, guys. First fish of the day, it's taken two hours. It's a measly little catfish, but it's better than nothing. And it was pretty cool to watch that, uh, that jug bob up and down. Another fish on, guys. Oh, big spot, guys. Big spot on the jug. Look at this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that, guys, on the jug. On the jug. And I'm about to crash. We just caught a stud spot on the jug. So, live herring, free line. I'm right here by this bridge. It's only about 15 feet of water and this is all rock. It's all riprap underneath here. And I thought it'd be a good spot, but guys, it has been a, a freaking struggle today. So far we've caught an alien. So far we've caught literally an alien catfish and this, look at the hook just fell out. Like a four pounder, guys. Spotted bass on a freaking four pounder. Spotted bass on a jug. This is crazy. Really cool stuff, guys. Guys, we have another fish on. I think he's been on for a while. I haven't checked these in about an hour. See him going? Is, I would not call today extremely successful, but so far we've got a raggedy old catfish, like a four pound spot, and whatever this thing is, the trolling motor can't keep up with it right now. Oh. Let's see what's in here, on here. Ooh, it's fighting a little bit. Oh my God, it's another pig spot, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. Guys. It's another donkey. Like this one looks like a, like almost the exact same size. I would say, I don't know, they're both giants. All right guys, so just another review of what we caught these fish on today. Um, so we have a two liter bottle of 
This is Squirt. That's an interesting name. Hmm. Anyways, yeah. Two liter bottle, about 15 feet of uh, 20 pound mono, set up to a one aught Gamagatsu hook with a live herring. I, I set out 10 today. Uh, I only caught, I think, three fish, but you know, <laughs> two of them are like three and a half, four pound spots. Uh, one of them was probably four, the other one was probably three and three quarters, three and a half. And then we caught this alien catfish. It looked like I had leprosy. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But this is just something different, you know. People, uh, you, you know, I've caught thousands and thousands of fish on a rod and reel. This is the first time I've ever caught a fish on a jug.